So yes, guys, I scored 52% in my HSC board exam, which is 12th standard, and I still got the admission in St. Xavier's College. So you might be wondering that I might have paid some donation or I had some jack. Okay, so to know the whole story, watch the video till the end. I'll tell you the whole story, how I got into St. Xavier's for my BMM. Hi guys, this is Pooja Gupta. Welcome to Media Mentor. So, if you are here for the first time on my channel, let me tell you, this is the only channel which makes exclusive uh, media studies videos, media jobs, everything which comes under the roof of media. I make a detailed information video on that. So, please don't forget to subscribe. So, guys, today is Wednesday and this is Vlog Wednesday video wherein I tell you a lot of interesting stuff about myself, my journey in media. So today I'm going to talk about how with 52% in my HSC, I got admission in St. Xavier's College for my BMM. So guys, I was one of those kids who hate studying. Matlab, you know, the moment you tell me exams, I'm like, oh God, I'm not like the one who wants first rank, second rank, first to chodo. I used to always get 20k badwala ranks in my school days. So I was that, uh, you know, average student category uh, person and of course comes the 10th standard and everyone is uh, like you know you have to score well otherwise there's no future I somehow scored 65 which was my you know A grade mein aagya. then if you don't take science you are a dabba so obviously my parents were like 65 A grade mein aagya hai. now you have that much brain at least that you know you can study science so don't take commerce wo, jo bachche padhai nahi karte na, unke liye hota hai. So I was like, okay, fine. Yeah, I can try. So I took science because even I was feeling, oh, I can take science because all the good students choose science. After that comes mathematics, which is uh, your derivatives and integration. Jo sar ke upar se jata tha. I used to cry because I, till date, I struggle with numbers. So I'm like, nahi ho rai. Max and physics was something that I never understood. Till date, I struggle with it. So 12th standard boards happened and uh, I was like, I don't know, I won't be able to clear it for sure. Then during the results, my mom said, okay, fine, even if you fail, don't commit suicide because she knew that I was a person I will not be able to, maybe I, I will not clear my mathematics paper. But somehow I cleared. So for me, that 52% was like a big achievement in my life. And in mathematics, I scored 35. That is, you know, I definitely got the grace marks and I'm thankful to whosoever sitting in the board gave me that grace marks. Now, when I, uh, when I scored like 52%, I was already preparing for my MHCET because that back then it was... Uh, not important how much you scored in your uh, 12th standard, more weightage was given to CET and MHCET. Then I was preparing for that and I knew that I'm going to fail in that as well. So I somehow got the courage to tell my parents that, boss, I don't want to study uh, science anymore. I'm not capable of. So they literally got offended and they said that, you know, she's stupid. She just watches television and, uh, you know, she doesn't want to do anything in her life and all this media influence because I said this in 2008 uh, to my dad that dad I want to become a journalist so back then journalism what media what nobody was uh, aware at least if you talk about the middle class family they were never think so fancy about stuff so when I said that they were like okay we'll do whatever any which ways you're a girl you'll get married and what else you want there's no aim in life that's why you don't want to study because media and arts were something that you know never considered to be uh, what do you say education so I said okay so it was already delayed and I had all the admissions were full already August ho gaya tha. and then the only uh, so I was I was just eligible to appear for BMM you know there's a base eligibility criteria for subjects like BMM BM, BMS and BSC IT those days so 50% was the eligibility so I was thankfully eligible I just got 52 and 50 was the eligibility and then obviously the admissions were over because I was trying out very late. Then somehow I got into one college which just started its BMM department like two years ago, which was Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak was for me personally, if you ask me, I got really good faculties out there as well. But for the whole year, my parents didn't talk to me thinking that, you know, she is in a useless college. 
she doesn't want to do anything and my hod back then ketan veera sir was too good he he used to he was an amazing teacher uh, so in my first year i got a very good base so now i'm in guru nanak i'm judged by people all around i was happy in my college and you know i was doing really good but as i was judged so badly that you know she is good for nothing blah 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 so i said boss what can i do to change this and obviously i can feel lot of these things when you guys call me and say ki ma'am mujhe yahi college mein chahiye you know mera 12th ka results nahi aayega to acha nahi aayega to you know uh, what i'll do i'm really tense let me tell you guys i have gone through that and i have been a very average person so don't worry about that i just want to give this message with this video that a mark sheet will not decide your future it will definitely play a major impact on your life but it is not it will definitely not decide your future so what happened with me is that i started studying day day and night i used to study till 4 am in the morning and i'm really thankful to my faculties in guru nanak college i literally was very happy the way i was being taught and my base was clear and you won't believe guys i scored 83% 82 point something in my first year a person who was scoring 52 scored 83 it means that i had the capability but it was just that i was not studying the right subject so i realized that you know i want to study media and then when i got the subject i loved i proved to be the best version of me and that's how i uh, scored highest in the university that year then as i said that i wanted to prove myself that you know i am good for something i said okay the best thing i can do to change the perception about myself or like you know my parents will be happy and people will not judge me anymore i said i will change my college in second year that was uh, you know that is something i came up with. so i applied in three colleges which was kc zaviers and uh, uh, ruya so what happened with me i said ki zaviers mein to nahi milega but chal ruya mein to mil hi jayega so when uh, i applied in ruya i got a call Uh, that you know you have scored uh, top in the university so that you know you come principal wants to talk to you this uh, might you know people might get offended if somebody from ruya is watching it i don't remember the name of the principal but he called me in the cabin he said that you know you are a good student but we have so much of facilities and blah 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 you will have to pay a donation of 50000 and this change of college i was doing without telling my parents anything so my dad will not give me even 5 rupees he was telling me to pay 50000 back then i was like boss i don't think so i can ever change my college leave it because if ruya is asking donation i don't know what other college will ask i went to kc for my uh, personal interview they never called me back again and i left all my hopes and i was like forget it i will never you know get into these colleges i'll better finish my graduation and see what happens next but uh, my friend vinith was following up you know because he helped me throughout you know to fill up the forms and all that he said to zavers me check to kar ek bar i was like okay let me check but i i have no hopes because if i got rejected from these two colleges then zavers is something that forget about it you won't believe guys what happened next was uh, you know vinith just called up to confirm about the admissions in the second year in bmm so uh, they said yes uh, there is a name pooja gupta you can come for the interview so i went there and i remember madhuri ma'am was there back then as an hod she took my personal interview and after just after one day i got a call that come and pay your fees you won't believe this whole process took me like one and half two months and once i got a call from sensavios that you know you got the admission you come and pay your fees i was on top of something and that moment i told my dad that you know dad i am worth something please come with me i got admission in st xavier's college my dad is like with st xavier's bhandukwala because i stay in pawai i said no uh, the town one i got the admission so he's like wo jo vt mein hai wo wala bada wala college jo sabse purana hai i said yes i got admission in that college because guys see first of all i am not a catholic so people thought ki isko to quota milega hi nahi 
secondly i didn't score the high percentage in my 12th standard so that was again out of question that i can i can ever dream of college like st xavier's thirdly uh, my language back then was not that great i was an average student i'm telling you with my language also because my schooling happened with a very mediocre schooling which didn't even had a library so with this video guys i just want to give you a message that you know don't get disappointed if something is not happening in your life it's just that give yourself time you know understand where the journey is taking you work hard for what you want you can definitely achieve so you know your personality your english your knowledge everything can be improved so don't think that you don't have it in you you just you know believe that you know you can do it and keep trying one day it will definitely pay off so i hope guys uh, you would have got motivated little bit from my journey please don't uh, get disheartened disappointed if you get bad marks in your 12th standard just believe in yourself and keep working towards your dream thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for such amazing videos on media mentor don't forget to like share and subscribe